good morning my dear students today we will move on to our next topic but before that i must take your attendance this is very necessary because many of you are still not responding attendance is ayushi singta akanksha sharma ankita changra kalpana sharma mokshika pravjot shakshi sapna shariba shreshta rana sabika ali swati bhardwaj amarpreet himanshu saini manish kumar nitesh dubbe saurabh rana सुशांत लखन एंड नीलेष इफ यू आर सिटिंग एंड यू आर लिस्निंग टू माई लेसन देन काइंडली रिस्पॉन्ड नाउ एट व्हाट्सएप एंड द व्हाट्सएप एड्रेस इज प्लस टू फिजिकल एजुकेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी प्लस टू प्लस निशान ऑफ प्लस का निशान टू दो लिखना है पी एच वाई फुल स्टॉप ई डी यू एजुकेशन डैश टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टाइप दिस एंड यू विल गेट दिस साइट ऑफ प्लस टू फिजिकल एजुकेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड एट एट दिस साइट यू मे नॉट टाइप येस ऑन माई वर्ड्स एंड बट यू कैन टाइप ऑन दिस प्लस टू फिजिकल एजुकेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी नॉट बिफोर वी गो टू द topic i must give you one minute to bring out your pen and notebooks so that you may write the important points now your one minute starts now and the topic is warming up and cooling down now we are actually studying the chapter of training in sports but before we go to the different types of trainings we should study what is warming up and cooling down and in that also we will study first warming up now what is warming up i think you, every one of you knows what is warming up before the competition or training warming up of the body is very important because it raises the temperature of the body a little bit little bit means our body temperature is 98.6 degree fahrenheit or 37 degree celsius so this temperature should be raised a little bit say 99 degree fahrenheit or say 37.5 degree celsius when this temperature is is raised the muscles become loose and elastic say flexible muscles jo hain flexible ban jati hain fir kya hota hai isse injury nahi hoti muscles ko this increased temperature avoids the injury to the muscles then there is a cardiovascular system i told you on that day also that heart blood vessels etc this system adjusts to bear the load which load the load of the competition ahead warming up is done through a series of exercises many exercises and uh, the these exercises kya karenge wo they will prepare the body psychologically as well as physically psychologically means manasik taur par aur physiologically means sharirik taur par sharirik aur manasik taur par ye body ko prepare kar dengi for further competition 
these exercises will make the body physically ready to bear the stress of the competition and also lessen the risk of the injury injury may not happen now may not occur so we can say that these are those exercises we can say basic exercises which increases the temperature of the body and makes it ready to perform difficult physical and mental work because now there may be some match or maybe some competition in that competition there is physical and mental work so these exercises will make the body tolerate this physical and mental work so keh sakte hain that games and sports for games and sports warming up is an important activity in which certain special exercises are done to prepare him for competition there is there are some writers which have given the definition of warming up what is warming up so debris he he is one of the educationist he has given his definition you can re- read here the definition you can read of debris that is warming up increases the temperature of the blood a little bit a little bit again the same temperature normal temperature 98.6 a little bit increase in temperature and helps the muscles to expand or contract it helps the muscles to expand or and to contract then there is hill hill has also given a definition if the normal temperature of the body decreases first of all i said increases but here if he said if the body temperature decreases what will happen normal temperature temperature of the body decreases a little bit the reaction time and contraction time he says the reaction time and the contraction time these will increase what will happen then expansion of muscles will decrease reaction time contraction time will increase but expansion of muscles will decrease so it means this normal temperature if it is lowered then it will not work properly when there is some competition but on the other hand if the temperature of the body increases if the temperature of the body increases then what happens then the contraction power and intensity of muscles will increase they will increase then so these were the two definitions and then we have the types of warming up warming up is of two types physiological warming up and psychological warming up again i told you earlier also physiological time uh, warming up means शारीरिक रूप से गर्माना गर्म होना और साइकोलॉजिकल मानसिक रूप से गर्म होना या गर्माना सो दीज आर द टू फिजिकल एंड मेंटल वी कैन से टाइप ऑफ वार्मिंग अप एंड इफ वी टेक द वार्मिंग अप वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक दिस वार्मिंग अप इट इज फिजियोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग अप एंड साइकोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग अप साइकोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग आप मानसिक रूप से है तो दैट रिमेन्स द सेम बट फिजियोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग आप देन इट इज अगेन डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट वन इज एक्टिव वार्मिंग आप एंड सेकेंड इज पैसिव वार्मिंग आप एंड एक्टिव वार्मिंग आप इज अगेन देन डिवाइडेड इन टू जनरल वार्मिंग आप एंड स्पेसिफिक वार्मिंग आप सो वी विल टेक दम वन बाई वन uh the first of all we will take uh, 
फिजियोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग अप शारीरिक रूप से और फिजियोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग अप मैंने बताया क्या है फिजियोलॉजिकल शारीरिक रूप से कंपटीशन से पहले जो कर, करनी है ट्रेनिंग्स करनी है या ट्रेनिंग से पहले जो एक्सरसाइजेज करनी है दीज आर कॉल्ड फिजियोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग अप द फिजियोलॉजिकल वार्मिंग अप कैन बी डन थ्रू टू वेज एज आई टोल्ड यू एक्टिव एंड पैसिव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक एक्टिव वार्मिंग अप इसमें क्या होगा द प्लेयर वार्म अप हिज आर बॉडी बाई एक्चुअली पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन सीरीज ऑफ फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज बहुत सी एक्टिविटीज करेगा लगातार एक के बाद एक कौन सी हो सकती है जॉगिंग हो सकती है रनिंग हो सकती है जंपिंग हो सकती है आर्म रोटेशन हो सकती है शटल रनिंग दीज आर सम ऑफ द एक्सरसाइजेज दीज कैन बी डन वाइल वार्मिंग अप एक्टिव वार्मिंग अप इन एक्टिव वार्मिंग अप इनकी ड्यूरेशन कितनी होनी चाहिए लगभग टेन टू थर्टी मिनट्स एक्सरसाइजेज ज्यादा देर नहीं करनी है ऐसा ना हो कि हम पहले ही थक जाए before going to the match so these exercises should be 10 to 30 minutes only it should be done slowly without consuming much energy energy jara waste nahi karni hai kyunki abhi humne further competition mein jana hai and then it is again of two types active and passive so active warming up as i told you that 10 to 30 minutes then एक्टिव वार्मिंग अप इज अगेन ऑफ टू टाइप्स जनरल वार्मिंग अप एंड स्पेसिफिक वार्मिंग अप जनरल एंड स्पेसिफिक जनरल जनरल मीन्स वार्मिंग अप फॉर ऑल द कंपटिशन एवरी टाइप ऑफ कंपटिशन ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी डू जॉगिंग वी डू रनिंग वी डू जम्पिंग so it will make our muscles ready to work but then we have specific warming up specific as the name suggests it is specific in nature it is different for different games and sports this will improve eye and body coordination by this perfection is obtained in skills for that particular game for example i have given you examples many times that dodging in basketball dribbling in hockey placing shuttle cock in badminton smashing in volleyball for these special warming up exercises should be done so that we get ready for these exercises then we have the physiological warming up this was physiological then we have psychological warming up psychological warming up it is concerning mind it prepares a sports person mentally for competition or the training it changes the attitude of mind we can do this warming up by many ways like motivation giving feedback jo bhi galtiyan kar raha hai wo uski feedback dein so that he or she may improve and behavior changes we can make his behavior to change so that he may act accordingly so these are the some warming up exercises which are generally performed then we have phases of warming up what are the phases of warming up there are three phases of warming up it is said one is loosening of joints and mobilizing them joints ko loosen karna loose karna hai aur fir usko kya karna hai मोबलाइज करना है मूवमेंट में लाना है उन ज्वाइंट्स को क्योंकि ज्वाइंट्स हमारे बड़े बड़े जैम हो जाते हैं कहते हैं तो उनको प्रॉपरली लाने के लिए 
we should do some exercises. Then the second phase is stretching muscles, stretching muscles and keeping a constant movement. Movement ko constant rakhna hai aur muscles ko stretch karna hai. Jaysay leg hai, uske muscles ko stretch kar diya, arm ke muscles ko stretch kar diya, lekin movement unki kya karna hai, constant rakhna hai. And third phase is pumping the heart. Heart ko pump karna hai after warming up the joints, joints warm up kar liye, uske baad pump karna hai heart ko so that more blood flows to the heart and capillaries. This can be done by taking, uh, we can say, uh, long breath. Then we have five stages of warming up. Five stages of warming up. Students, I will tell you one thing. What you want to ask, you have to write it in the अगर स्टेजेस नहीं पूछी हैं तो डोंट राइट अगर आपकी फेजेस नहीं पूछी हैं तो डोंट राइट बट लुक एट द डिवीजन ऑफ मार्क्स आल्सो इफ वार्मिंग अप व्हाट इज वार्मिंग अप इट इज अ मोर मार्क्स देन यू विल हैव टू राइट दीस थिंग्स इफ द मार्क्स आर लेस डिवीजन ऑफ मार्क्स दे शो दैट व्हाट इज वार्मिंग अप इट इज ओनली वन और टू मार्क्स देन यू मे राइट व्हाट इज वार्मिंग अप एंड टाइप्स ऑफ वार्मिंग अप ओनली but stages and phases you will write only if they are asked or if the question or this part carries more marks. So let us now discuss five stages of warming up and we can remember with a word T ramp. All these stages we can remember by using the word T ramp. T ramp. T means tissue preparation. Tissue preparation means release the trigger points and improve tissue quality. Tissue quality, tissue आपको पता ही है बहुत बारीक पेपर होता है तो उसकी क्वालिटी को इम्प्रूव करना अपने टिश्यूज को आपके जो मसल्स हैं टिश्यूज हैं उनको कैसे आपने इम्प्रूव करना है सेकेंड इज रैम्प रैम्प फॉर आर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वर्ड इज आर आर इज Rise in temperature. Temperature, as I told you earlier also, the temperature rises when we do certain exercises. And then third is A, ramp, A, A, activity or activate. Prepare the muscles group that are going to be used during training or activity. Prepare those muscles, activate those muscles. And after the activation, the R A M, the word is M. The M is mobilize. Mobilize. We have to mobilize the muscles. Increase range of motion. Motion should increase. Full arm or full leg should be rotated. And then the last is P. That is potentiate. Potentiate. Potential means enhancement, enhancement of uh, uh, muscles or muscle function through high frequency. Last it should be through high frequency. We may run few yards, few meters <coughs> or we may do some hectic exercise for some seconds or some say half a minute. The important thing is now principles of warming up. Again I will tell that the principles have been asked. Only then write the principles. If they are not been asked, don't write. Sometimes you uh, take more time in writing those things which are not asked, which are not desired. And you get less marks. You say that I have written so many pages, I have uh, answered the question fully, but you should not write extra. Whatever has been asked, only write those because you have to attempt seven questions this year. And seven questions will take some time. So, but the questions are such that only little time is taken, only that time is taken 
which may be taken by five questions only so less parts are asked so not a, now stay say about principles of warming up principles you have already done principles of uh, wellness and fitness you have done then here you are doing principles of warming up only all though the principles are same but only you have to change the wordings and the first is principle of overloading so we can write no overloading so there should not be overloading of time frequency and intensity as i told you earlier also time means you may do exercise for first say 5 minutes then increase to 6 minutes then increase next day to 7 minutes and so on similarly frequency you do some exercise for four times then five times then six times next day 10 times and so on intensity should also be increased the load should also be increased slowly and slowly this is called principle of overloading then we have regularity we should be regular in our exercises warming up should be done daily not only when there is some match you should go for exercises daily warming up exercises should be done and uh, your body parts they should be properly able to work any time then the third is we can say safety and uh, prevention safety and prevention is also very important as we told earlier also prevention is better than cure so safety should be observed so that we may not get hurt there should not be any injury this will be the one of the best principles safety then we have individual differences individual differences maine kaha tha ek aadmi dusre se bhin ho sakta hai और किस में हो सकता है कैपेसिटी में भी फर्क हो सकता है उसके फिजिकल एडवांटेज हो सकता है उसको हैवी हो सकता है पतला हो सकता है एंड सो ऑन टॉलरेंस में भी इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंस हो सकता है वन कैन टॉल टॉलरेट मोर एक्सरसाइज वन कैन नॉट सो वी शुड टेक ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स इन इन टू कंसिडरेशन वाइल वार्निंग अप that individual differences must be taken care of and after that we have scientific training scientific training as i told you also earlier also that uh, scientific warming up we can say scientific warming up should be from easy to difficult exercises simple to complex exercises part to whole exercises these are the scientific principles these must be observed and then the sixth point is your motivation motivation physical motivation mental motivation both types of motivations are required physical motivation we can give certain prizes we can give certain refreshment diet etc and mental motivation we can show him the movie or we can say the video of his exercises that you have done wrong here kindly correct it here or we can show him some movies or videos of big sports persons great sports persons then after the motivation we can go to the variety variety is also important factor uh there there are specific exercises for different games for hockey wrist action should be taken care of wrestling in wrestling strength of the body should be taken care of and in kho kho coordination and flexibility should be there so we will Perform perform only those exercises which are required for that game. So that is the specificity, specific to the game. Then the ninth point uh, is as per 
एज एंड सेक्स एज पर एज एंड सेक्स वी शुड टेक केयर ऑफ द एज ऑफ द पर्सन ऑल्सो एंड सेक्स ऑफ द पर्सन इफ ए पर्सन इज ऑफ हायर एज वी शुड नॉट कंपेल हिम टू डू मोर एक्सरसाइजेस बट इफ द पर्सन इज ऑफ ट्वेंटी ईयर्स थर्टी ईयर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स देन ही कैन टॉलरेट दोज एक्सरसाइजेस सो दिस शुड बी डन एज पर द एज एंड सेक्स ऑल्सो इफ द बॉय इज देयर और ए गर्ल इज देयर we can have different types of exercises or the quantity of exercises they should differ then the 10th point is systematic exercises systematic we should do the exercise from top to bottom so neck to feet head to feet or feet to head we should go from one part to the other other to the other other to the other part of the body and warm up all the parts of the body because those parts will be used when there will be some competition and the last is warming up of all body parts as i told you systematic exercise similarly warming up of all body parts legs uh, your arms uh, your neck uh, Uh, your feet uh, every part of the body it should be warmed up all the body parts should be warmed up so these were certain principles of warming up we will now go on to the importance of warming up that we will do tomorrow because uh, no little time is left tomorrow we will do importance of warming up and then we will do also the cooling exercises the cooling exercises thank you very much